So is the RT that's multiplied then? It is multiplied, yeah. When you have letters beside each other, they mean multiplied. One of the little barriers of algebra, isn't it? All these little rules. New language. Yeah, they say you never get used to math. You never, they say you never understand math. You just get used to it. But it's not like anything, you know, ride, drive, driving a car, riding a bike, speaking English, who knows what. D equals RT for R. And I'm just going to, for fun, I'm just going to replace the D and the T with numbers. I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to say, what if you had 12 equals R times 4? And you solve that for R. Let's just do that one real quick because I know lots of students are going to be stuck on this. I just want to give an easy, easier example to get started. So if we had 12 equals R times 4, we would divide this side by? 4. Well, perfect. And this side by 4. And 12 over 4 is 3, so R is 3. You know, 3 equals R. Or I'll just write like this for fun. 12 over 4 equals R. That's true too, isn't it? So when we have numbers, it all makes sense. We just divide. And that's the same thing. It's R has been multiplied by T, and we just have to divide by T, and that's it. And this is distance equals speed multiplied by time. And if we've solved this formula, we're finding that distance over time gives you the speed, R, or the rate. R stands for rate or speed, right? Okay with that? Right, because the T's cross cancel. T's cross cancel. R is D over T. Yep.